Um, this is a quick recording of how to install Ample and the Ample IDE, which is the interface to interact with Ample, um, on your computer. I'm using a Mac, so I will have the video for Mac, but I kind of touch how it's done under Windows. The idea is the same. There's some twists here and there, but I think you figure that out. Um, so I put on Blackboard some quick instruction. Well, the instruction defines two links. Um, there's the first link, which is um, for the Ample itself. I'll go to that page in a second. And then another link uh, showing the IDE, that's the editor. So you click on that, and if you go to that, um, make sure that you are having the free version, uh, download free download. There are paid versions, don't get that. So on the top screen, you see some explanation. You can free to read it. Most important part is the one that is in red here. Um, go to the operating system that you need. So I click on Mac OS, and you see the two parts. So the first one is the, um, the show the IDE. So that's again the interface. They have it here as well, so it's a bit confusing as I like it better separated. And they have also the command line download for the Mac OS. So you definitely have to download both. So what you're doing is um, you click on that link and it will automatically download the file. That's the IDE and you also click on this bottom part here and download that. Um, I went ahead with that. I downloaded both parts. I'll show that in a second. Um, more important, if you go up further, there are the versions for um, hold on, Windows. So the same thing, you have an IDE file and you have an Ample file. Make sure that you download the 32 or 64 bit version depending on your operating system. All right, um, when you have done that and I started preparing that, I downloaded both files, so the Ample and the Ample IDE here. Uh, there are packages, so the first thing that you have to do is unpack them. And generally that is done by double clicking and it just expand that. Windows zip should be included in the operating system expanded itself. So it creates a folder with all the files. Don't need anything to know about this for the moment. And also you click the same with the IDE, the interface, and it will be um, expanded. The download is roughly 200 megabytes, so I think this one on computer should be a big problem. So we have two files. Um, there's one step that you have to do before, otherwise you get an error message. I just want to demonstrate to you what the message looks like. So if I click on Ample IDE, I get a question. Uh, this question is basically saying, this is a software from the internet, so this is more Mac. Do you want to open it? Obviously, I know where to download from, so I'm pretty safe, so I click open. Um, if you don't have this um, um, requester, it could be that you go have to go to your Mac preferences, install security, and allow downloads from the internet. So I'm clicking open, and you see the window opens, but there should be an error message. So if you just expand the Ample IDE file and try to start it, it gives you an error message, and it says like the IDE cannot find the Ample executors. So there is short instruction on um, on the website, but the easiest thing to do, very easy thing to do, is you just drag Ample ID into the Ample folder. That's it. So there are two possibilities. You can start the Ample from here, and it will work, and gives you the interface, uh, but I'm not going there now, so I'm quickly closing that. Hold on. Um, so now I have a folder, Ample Mac OS 64, uh, with my Ample ID in there. So I can use it and download. For the easiness, what I would do is I would rename it, delete this, and also would place it not in my download folder, that pull it wherever I want. So some people might prefer to put it in the desktop. I personally like it as an application. So if I want to put an application, I have to type in my password mention that. Um, the advantage if I put an in application, I can go in my um, application overview and just pick the Ample ID and 
So if I say start it, I'll start the calendar, not what I intended. I think that is actually in effect from my home. Okay, now it's working. I'll keep this Penter head here. So, all right, that's it. That's the installation. That's all you need to do. So remember, first extract the Ample folder and then the IDE folder and or package and then move the Ample IDE into the folder with the Ample and then you can put that folder anywhere you want. All right, now I 